The Conservatives' power struggle to succeed Boris Johnson has taken on bitter tones. Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak attacked each other on TV with, yeah, you could call it, sharp words. In the race to succeed British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the two candidates Dizzy Lizzy and Dishy Rishi, or whatever they're called now, exchanged blows in their first TV duel. Topics of the debate between the Foreign Minister and the former Chancellor of the Exchequer, moderated by the BBC on Monday evening, included tax policy, dealing with China and Brexit. Sunak criticized trust plans for rapid tax cuts. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's responsible. And it's certainly not conservative, said the Tory politician. Tax cuts before inflation is brought under control would be like a short-term sugar rush. Truss, speaking at the debate in the town of Stoke-on-Trent, countered that Sunak's plans would plunge Britain into a recession. She wants to act immediately because people are struggling to make ends meet. Her rival in the race for Tory party leadership raised taxes to the highest rate in 70 years when he was finance minister. Truss also accused Sunak in the first of the three TV duels of having taken too soft course towards China in the past. A month ago, he spoke out in favor of closer trade relations with China, she said. The foreign minister commented on the fact that Sunak spoke out in favor of a tough course towards Beijing at the weekend. I am delighted that you have now agreed with my way of thinking. Sunak countered that Truss had also made a shift with regard to China. She too has wanted closer relations with Beijing in the past. Johnson was forced to resign as party leader on July 7th by an internal party revolt against his much-criticized leadership, which also meant the end of his government office. However, he intends to remain prime minister until his successor is appointed. Originally, 11 candidates had applied to succeed Johnson. Now, the members of the party are to decide by a postal vote between Sunak and Truss about the future chairman here. The leader of the party automatically heads the government as the Tories are the largest party in the House of Commons. The result is supposed to be announced on September 5th. A survey of 1,032 voters by polling firm Servation found that 39% of the British public thought Sunak had done best in the debate versus 38% who thought Truss did better. Truss is considered the darling of the Conservative Party base, which decides on the successor. A YouGov poll of Conservative Party members released last week found that Truss is ahead of Sunak by 24 points in the race for party leadership. Even before the debate, the election campaign had taken on increasingly bitter tones. Truss supporter Nadine Dorries shared a report from the Daily Mail on Twitter on Monday in which candidate Sunak's luxury wardrobe is analyzed in detail. The wealth of his family is considered his uh, biggest point of attack. Truss, on the other hand, wears 4.50 earrings. That's what Doris claimed. The online magazine Politico commented on the direct attacks by the two candidates as hurting and unrelenting. The openly displayed hostility is unusual for an internal party election campaign. And the newspaper I also described the fight as toxic. Britain's Guardian analyzed the debate in an article entitled Truss and Sunak Tear Each Other Apart in Undignified Debate. In it, the author wrote, The candidates for Tory leadership attacked one another so mercilessly that it was hard to believe they were in the same party. Well, at the same time, some loyalists to outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson are already working on his comeback. A petition calling for party members to vote on Johnson's possible return had already reached 10,000 signers by Saturday evening, according to The Telegraph. And just a quick update on my TV issue. It will take quite some time to get it repaired. And I terribly hurt my back yesterday when I got my old TV from the basement back up to my flat. It hurts. And if you haven't seen my new newest video on my Outside News Military channel, it's online since yesterday. So the link is in the description. Have a look. I'll see you in my next video. Ich komme wieder.